what's up guys? It's Jay with Tech Everything. Today we're going to learn all about banana plugs, learn how to use them, and if you really need them for your speakers. Okay, so before we get started, there are two important things to know. There are two main types of speaker terminals that you will see in most commercial speakers. You'll either see the speaker clip type, which is a cheaper style where you really just slide the bare wire in, or you'll see the five-way binding post, which is usually gold-plated, more robust, and that's what you'll see on higher end, even mid-tier or some quality lower-tier speakers. Okay, so what is the real point of banana plugs? It's simple. Banana plugs take your unterminated bare wire ends to whatever speaker cable you like or use. Uh, there are banana plugs that will acquire or accommodate all types of thicknesses from 12 gauge to 16 gauge, whatever you want. Uh, this is 14 gauge wire, so it's in between, it's not super thick. It's not even especially quality wire, it's something that you get probably Radio Shack. Uh, but basically, they connect in like so without actually undoing them, and they make it easier to plug in and plug out, move your wires, etc. etc. Now, the set on the left is a cheaper set. Uh, it does not have a super strong connection. There's no screws, there's no clips or anything like that. Really all you're doing is putting the wire through the hole and screwing the bottom in like so. That's it. So this is this would be a cheaper lower end set of banana plugs, but they should be effective. This should still work. These are a little more expensive, a little more robust. As you can see, they have screws in there so you have two screws one on each side and you would put your wire in and simply screw it down then the goes on top like that so enough talking let's actually set them up start with the cheaper set <clears throat> like to leave about a half inch on the end of your wire you just need a wire stripper if you're gonna get bare wire half inch is usually plenty And there you have it. Now with these, you get some wire sticking out. They're not that pretty. Uh, there's no sleeving around. So if you touch them, they could short your speaker. It's not really good. That's why they're lower end, but they do work. Now for the more expensive guys. These should also have red and black labels. I just happen to grab two with black. And there you have it. Not only do these look nicer, but they offer a more solid connection for the wire from the wire to the actual plug. If you get really high-end ones, they would have also included a typically rubber housing. There is a paint layer over these, but it's not that thick. It would prevent shorts most likely, but really you want to have a rubber housing on the outside of your banana plugs. Now an important thing to note, people ask me this all the time. Do banana plugs make your music or movies sound better? The answer is no. It really just relays the connection through the plug. It's more for aesthetics and for ease of use when you're disconnecting your speakers, removing, anything like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please see you next time.